Not just K-pop anymore, Great Korea. Welcome back to Chimo Chills. What have we done here? Oops, we have done it again. We are a big, chonky beast of a nation. Number one great power of the world by an order of two to one. Yes, sir. We are well on our way to getting the chosen one as Korea owner at subject have own or have a subject own all Shinto, Confucian, Buddhist provinces in the world. We are like as I as I actually float over this, you notice there's not a lot turning purple over here. There is not a lot left at all. We are well on our way to finishing that achievement. The other achievements we're going for are harmonizing seven religions. We've popped through four. We have our fifth one, 39% of the way done. And we already have our our um, our sixth and seventh ready to go. So those will take some time too, but whatever. We will uh, we can do the magic of jump cut editing to make that just fly on by. So I have had this ally of Ayataya for a very very long time and uh it's been nice having them but i think i need to let them go i think i need to move on to bigger better friends friends who have more cannons more guns and more moon-shaped crescents on their flags i'm of course talking about the otto man let's let the day pass nice it is so good just like that just like that the number one and the number two great powers of the world we are teaming up we are unbeatable <clears throat> And if you notice here, let's take a look. Who's their enemies? Russia. Russia is my enemy too. I will be fighting Russia. I also want to point out something here. The Europeans have officially arrived. We have Castile. So you want to notice they've not formed Spain. So it's, it's a weak Castile. And Portugal, of course. And they're independent. So I, I welcome their arrival to my area so I can start harvesting land from them. I welcome them. Okay, so we switched up our alliances. Do, 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 declared war on our crown colony. What? These countries declared on my on Korean down under. Will Korean down under be able to fight them? I don't even. Hmm. Okay, I can declare my own war against them. So I'm gonna do that right now. Look at that. So these. These are New Zealand Maori nations just declared on Korean Down Under. Korean Down Under, I don't think, has an army big enough to take those all those guys on at the same time. So it is it is fortunate for them that I'm here and I'm ready to go. I am going to sail my boys over and we're going to pick a fight on their behalf just as soon as I can. So I want to make sure I am full relations with the Ato Man. I am. We're at 100. Because I want those favors to tick up. Because I will be attacking Mother Russia. When Mother Russia fills all this, we'll be extracting a land tax from them. Go we'll help our subject nation out. And what other countries would I like to pop on here? I think I have a couple different options here, if I'm not mistaken. And now that I'm not allied with Ayataya, I'll be able to uh, fire on Daviet and Tangao over here. And, and I know... And Ayataya can only get called into one of those wars, so... And I'll smack them around. They're not a problem. I am not afraid of them. So let's just wait till the... 513. Not... Awesome. Not an awesome air. Hmm. I... I would... I, I think I'm gonna throw him into the ocean. That's two airs I've thrown into the ocean. He's better than the previous. Let's be... Let's be honest. He's better than the previous air, but... I don't think he's quite there yet. All right, he's got to go. I mean, let's just go for a sail. <laughs> row, row, row your boat, and off he goes. Into the ocean, the baby goes. That's 100 prestige I've lost there, by the way. 100 prestige tossing two babies out with the bathwater. So let's go ahead and declare this war. I don't want this territory to be occupied. Oh, it's a fort. He's got a fort going there. Oh, okay, that, that's, that's not going to be occupied. I'm, I'm in no rush. Let's wait till the first next month. Shabam, we're going to declare this war on... The white Tautu up here, we're going to call in all his buddies, and this is going to immediately put us into battle with that army. Get out of here! Yes! Both of their armies got to fall. Let's leave this one damaged war galley and pop out with the rest of the buys to smack their navies away. And that, those are all just New Zealand countries. Yeah, that is correct. 
We don't have claims up here, unfortunately. My, my subject has not made them yet. I'm hoping he does. I've, I've set them as targets of interest. We'll, we'll see if he does. That is a estate done. An estate edict done. Ooh, I could sell crown lands. 3,000 ducats. It's, it's so damn tempting, but I do want to get my crown land up. So I'm I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold temptation. I mean all that money. Ooh, it's so tempting. It's also evil, right? It's also evil. It's trying to draw me into its wicked ways. So if I jump onto here, I am at war with them. That should allow Korean down under to siege down this plot. So I'll tell them to what? Oh, because they're not in this war with me. That's fine. That's fine. You do it however you want to do. Once this army's taken out, I'll send half of the boys back over here. I don't know what Korean Down Under is doing. Oh, he's going to go attack this crew. With only 4,000? That's not enough, man. He is! He's attacking that 12,000 with his 4,000. Dude, I mean, okay. It's brave. It's it's a thing. You can do it. But I, I don't know that it's a, a brave or, or a smart thing to do. Alright, so we have our fingers crossed on a better second air. I can't just keep throwing these airs into the ocean forever. Like, well, I can, but... I don't want to. It's it's it hurts every time. Cuts me deep. So let's get right onto the border with Dasviat, and we know exactly who is going to defend them. Of course, it is the Ayataya, the white elephant, our longtime ally and friend who is who has lost his way. He no longer saw he no longer saw the the, the wisdom and the Confucius teachings, and um, he decided to stick with his Theravada roots. And we're gonna have to go correct those. Correct those unto our fault. Korean down under will get 5% trade. Oh, no, no. I don't want to tax him. I don't want to do things that's going to make him unloyal to me. And it's going to just bug him for no reason. No, sir. You you keep on being you. So we're going to fire our next war. Let's say February 1st. It's going to be against Daviet. Who I wanted to attack a long time ago. If you remember back, it was a long, long time ago I wanted to attack these boys. But I could not because my ally, the white elephant, would not allow it. So we're gonna call it. We're gonna make it Cheng Rai, maybe Mong, Mong Nigao, Mong Nigao. That's the one we want. Boom! Let's jump onto Mong Nigao. Do yield split up. Um. Yeah, and then this sixty thousand, I'll attack into Tangu. So I, I won't move that sixty thousand again. These guys will come to Tanhao. I think all of these wars are going to be in the south. So, like, I'll leave a couple armies around up here. Oh, the white elephant's got an army up here. Oh, that's so perfect. That's so perfect. He didn't get black flagged either. Oh, that's, that's not perfect for you, white elephant. But that is really perfect for me. I am I am happy for me. So, if you notice, we have a whole bunch of truces ending in 84-85 range. Yarkan, Mongkwan, Hisinwi, I'm Mianjin, so many of them. Mianjin is actually in Australia. So I have two wars going at the same time now, but I do need to be mindful. I need to be paying attention and I need to be mindful on Oh, he blocked my He blocked my um my settler, my colonist. You bugger. You bugger. I had him going for quite some time. Um so this is Malangyan, and this is Larakia. Well, I don't think he'll be able to come back to block me here. That's annoying. That is really annoying. You can tell that I'm annoyed by that. No, and I'll just be able to attack him alone. I, I want to be in the middle of these guys. i got to send this colonist back here. That is frustrating. That is frustrating. And then I'll have to come back over there and clear out the locals. Okay. Let's get you join back up with them. You're going to come down to none. You boys will all come down there. This looks good. You're coming south. I like it. Boom, boom, boom. Now we attack on Tango. I believe the white elephant... Oh, no, he has... So the question here, is it worth waiting on Hisinui to call him in separately? Hisinui has Mong Kong in you. I definitely am not calling in you and Mong Kong. So then, no, it's not worth it. I'll allow him to get called in right now. We'll move We'll move right onto the border with him. All right, we are good. We are good. We have our marching orders. We have our game plan. 
Oh, that's so annoying that I can't get this claim on them. You can see I was making a claim on them and everything. The this this colonist was probably like ten days away from arriving there. Oof, I say. Oof. Well played, AI. Well played. Let's jump on. Keep on exploring into Alaska as you do. Right, I think our army will be in position. There we go. So I got an army next to both of theirs. And we'll fire on Tangu right away. Can't can't co belligerent you, but that's okay. I'm gonna make Tangu just disappear. My, my uh, world famous magic trick of making a nation disappear. So Tangu will be the fort. You guys will split up. Get Pegu and Dagon. And then we're gonna come south. So I can see a fairly large white elephant army. Nice, they're engaging them. Go fight them too. Uh, I attack them in mountains, so that, that is not that is not tactical genius on my part. But whatever. You're too Gogoku, so your full price morale. I think I'm gonna go with the full price morale guy. That seems fine. I can always upgrade him for a little bit of ducats. It would be 14 per turn. I am. Am I really making 96 ducats? Okay, so I'm looting foreign cities for 10, but other than that, that means I'm making a legitimate 86 Ducats a turn. Life is good. Life is good. Um, that that makes me want to upgrade the trade efficiency guy. Because that's what I'm behind on. I'm, I'm behind on the, uh, the Diplo point. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, some extra Ducats. We might actually lose that battle. That is okay. That is okay. You cannot win every single... Well, you could, but it wouldn't be quite as entertaining to watch. You gotta, you have to have some close fights. Let's get a carpet siege down here. Okay, you're. Oh, I forgot to move this army. No. <laughs> what was I thinking? All right, get them carpet siege down. You can maybe come block them off. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know if they're gonna try to run up. This fort would block them from coming up. So I'm just gonna leave that army up there. They're they're a deterrent. They are a fine deterrent army. Uh, so there's that, 20,000. And that's everyone else gamefully employed. Beautiful. See, I knew it was up there for a reason. I knew there was going to be a rebel scum. Alright, these guys are in a full retreat, so I won't be able to catch them. Let's take this 10,000, deal with that rebel. Those guys are spreading on it. And there's a loss. It's a hard loss, but we're coming. We're coming in. Where are they going? They're running to... Bayankhan Gor. Bay <laughs> whatever. They're going to that place that I clearly cannot pronounce. Okay, we can get claims on we have permit claims on all them. I have claims all down here, so I'm okay down there. I'm about to So I will need a, a claim against Yonga, because Yongu has no allies. So it's not like I'll be able to declare on one of his allies and call him in. That's why we'll uh, let's go ahead and get that. Boom, boom. We don't have a leader. Let's get a leader onto one of these. For for siege sounds wonderful. For siege sounds just perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the rebel, and he's getting away with that six thousand. Where are you gonna go? It's just forts around. Go go sit on a fort for a while. I'll, I'll come to you later. Okay, I'll come to you. Later. Do, 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 they're dealt with. These guys are still in trying to get the heck out of danger. They they when I declared this war, they did not realize. Yeah, like I broke truce with them. We've been buddies for like two hundred years. It would be like it'd be like Canada and USA. Like you take a vacation in the USA, USA breaks relations. No, no, no. It, it's the other way around. Uh, Canada breaks relations and declares war on the US while you're down there. You're like, this is awkward. <laughs> this is not what I planned at all. Hmm. All right, come on. We want a good air. Let's get a good air. You've given me two junk ones in a row. Ooh, that's 17 is a threat to my five stacks. That's a mistake. He should have attacked me there. But... Mm -hmm. We'll allow those armies to get back together. You can join them up. Go deal with that scum. And what do we have? Mong Mao down here. Mong Nai. Mong Nai. Bukudu. So I'll use... I have no other armies over here. I got no one left. I got no one left. All right, these boys are going for a job. Go chase them out of my land. I don't know where they're going. I don't have a ton of forts here. I could use, like, a fort wall over here. 
It's not like I'm not making good bank, but hey, whatever. So that's five thousands down there. Let's get the rest onto Hissen Via's capital. Cost of project upgrade minus twenty-five. That's pretty good. For 1,500 Ducats, that's pretty good. Especially if I'm going to go to like a level 4 for anything. How long does this last though? Only 10 years. I don't think that's strong enough, you know? If that was like a, if that lasts 20 years, I would say for sure. But I, at 10 years, I'm not convinced that that is a, a very strong modifier. At that cost. You haven't sold me on this one, son. You haven't sold me on this one. Boom. Fort down. The forts are just falling. They're just falling. They're seeing my mighty armies coming and they want nothing to do with that. Okay, so we jump into our side ledger again. Make sure everyone is gainfully employed. What happened? Is that a wipe? That must have been a wipe. They're gone. They, they're gone. They, they saw me coming. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. Like, I have Mong Quan ending next year. I really... I need to be paying attention. I need to be on top of this. So January Vrinder Jordan. That would be <clears throat> one of these, I think. Yeah, your Vrinder Jordan, right there. Vrinder Jordan. And that will allow me to call in all the boys. So I, I need to get, an, I need to get a, an army to Australia probably sooner than later. We've gotten our colony there, so we can get this claim. That's good. <laughs> that is very good. It's very, very good. Uh, how is the New Zealand war? Okay, beautiful. I can start actually grabbing these guys, bringing them home. Um, you know what? Even ten thousand is enough. I don't need. I don't need everyone. I don't need a full twenty. Hey, I have twenty thousand. Okay, it read my mind. It read my mind. Twenty thousand is obviously better than ten. I'll take the whole group. There. I didn't have to. Have we have some rebels there and Siak. I will have to go and help them. I, I can't let any of my subject nations get out of control. I've kind of made them unstable. This is my fault. I have to accept some responsibility for this. And, uh, yeah, so I'm doing just that. <laughs> Keep on moving forward. I think I'm going to actually run them all the way down to here. So I'll get, like, another colony here. Col another colonist going here. And then from here, I'll jump right on down to there. Do -do -do. Actually, so I can move that other navy back. It will be very useful. Then. Come on down, boys. Come on down to Daviet. You can get repaired once you arrive. Enemies are sieging our provinces. I think those are just the rebel scum. Join up. Load up. And I'm not going to wait. I don't care if it's halfway through the month. We'll get you moving back. And it is the first. It is the first of next year that I'm declaring this war. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire it. I don't care if I'm in position or not. I don't care if I'm ready. I'm attacking. So they, they have home field advantage here if I attack. They have home field advantage. You know what? I'm going to just wait out. I'm going to wait out. Let's finish off this siege. It's at 28% already. It's not going to take that long. Patience. Patience is a virtue, I'm told. Okay, so those that Verdinjury. Verdinjury. I'm definitely never going to play a campaign as Verdinjury because I couldn't stand hearing me call it Verdinjury again and again and again for a, for like a, for a 10, 20 episode campaign. So Mianjin is July of this month. If I just wait. Eh, who cares? Who cares? Forget about it, I say. Boom. There's Eora pops out of the woodwork. Life is good. Boom, that's the capital. That they held out for quite some time. They they get a um they get a nod of respect. I give them a nod of respect for sure. Uh, we may actually be able to catch that army right there. Beautiful. You, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. No, no. What you talking about? So I can go straight into Jilin. We'll stutter step him out, let him lock, boom, we're into Jilin. So what do we have here? These are the uh, New Zealand tribes. New Zealand tribes are offering peace. Let me give me a moment, bud. I do like the idea of New Zealand tribes. I do. I'm not I'm not just being a jerk. I'm not just ooh, what wonder is this? Can I use this wonder? Culture group is in East Aryan, culture group is in Hindustan, or the culture has the owner. So if I change that to Korean, I could use this cult this uh, wonder. Trade. Trade steering. Oh yeah. Oh, with a merchant. Oh, the money. I like this one. All right, let's get a claim here. Daka, you... That might be as far west as I go. I, could, I might make a nice clean cut up here. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's a, a long way to go. We have a bunch more playing to go. Boom, get on 
that. You move down, sir. Probably don't need to be respecting the white elef elephant quite so much at this point. When when you see your Mongol vassal starting to carpet siege, break down into one groups, maybe you're respecting them a little much. A little more than you need to. So this fort is what's blocking me from moving, so I'll come down and blow a hole in its walls. Hello, fort. Pardon me. Doo -doo -doo. We're at minus 21%. I blow a hole in the wall and zero. Yeah, it's better than minus 20%. I really am going to need to help my, my subject nations. I can't let them get too out of hand. They're still not arrived. Okay. Yeah, you see, I declared this war, and, and uh, Korean Down Under was not ready. All of our armies are over here. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking, the humanity? I'm going to start piecing out these these Maori nations. If they're, you know what? You're not even ready. What are you talking about, man? You, you've lost. It's over. It, they're not ready. So be it. Okay, they can... I was going to start piecing them out. Now, now not so much. So, Hisinva, you are all double price. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I want to take... Take your lands. Um, you definitely don't need to be... You don't need any allies, Hisinva. Like, what reason do you have for allies? That's my, that's my question. My first question to you is that. You definitely don't need cores of my land. You can give me some of that. And I'll just take the one province just as like a meh. A, a border cleaning operation is what that was. That was a border cleaning operation. We still don't have a new heir. Still don't have a new heir. I remember I've thrown two out. Two out. That hurts me bad. I've only climbed back up to 47 prestige. And that takes away. You're, you're getting extra aggressive expansion having low prestige. It is it is a real world hit. Doesn't feel good. So Hissin Pa, you are 87. Did I not see another? Mong Kwong, Kalamaru, Yarkand. Yeah, Yarkand. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. You're in the north. I know you're up there. I won't forget about you. And down to this fort. White Elf is pushing south into my territory down there. I, I really do need to get some armies down there. How about Force Limit? We're, we're pretty close to our Force Limit. I can't really build just more. <laughs> It'll run straight on south. Help out with the buys. How far south can you go? Oh, we can get by that fort somehow. Oh, well, if that's the case, run all the way down. I don't care. Even if, even if they lose, I'll, I'll run. I'll, I'll charge their 40,000 with my 20. It weakens them. I got I got manpower for days, okay? I got manpower for days and days. Now, how how much would it cost to, to embrace this? This is why I don't want to take these techs yet. Um, 3,000. It's a lot. It is a lot. We're at 79 there. Beijing's going up pretty quick. It's already at 28. I may, I may wait till Beijing. Oh, I don't even have the advancement effort up there. That's that's a slight mistake. Not a, not a big mistake, but how about over here? Uh, these are pretty low. Like, I, I'm probably not going to wait all the way for that. But Beijing at 2.5 a month? I think that. And we have one a month over here. So that's 25 months over here. And Beijing will be less than that for sure. Or, or maybe about that. Okay, so we're going to at least wait for both of those before we net take our next text. Ooh, on to that fort. Actually, let's go straight. Oh, I can't get by him. I can't get by that fort. So let's all go pile up on that fort. I gotta get by, okay? I gotta get by. These buys will come south as far as they can. Help out the ye old carpet sieges. And we caught him. We caught this 17. And we'll move right on to this 9,000 right after. I, it's not gonna be a white. No, he was. What? How did he. Like, he like instant warped. He lost that battle and then instant warped out of the territory. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe a day tick that I just didn't notice. Boom, that is another Maori tribe down. So it's it's the fact that these armies exist. It's Nagatu, Regini, and Kahani. So Tainu, you don't have an army. Tainu, you should be ready to go, bud. Yes, much better. Much better. Feels good and it automatically goes to Korean and down under. Alright, we'll move on to that 11,000 and we'll just start piecing out those tribes one at a time. Beauty, we clear out the locals just like you do. Okay, you're heading west to deal with them. We got no rebels there. I'm gonna want you over here for Yarkhan because Yarkhan will pop. 
Or, or uh, I will need to pop on Yarkon. It, I don't think it's going to be this episode. I, I have a lot going. <laughs> There's a lot on my plate, okay? I got a lot going on. It's a lot of pressure. Um, but it might be. It might be. It might be how I actually finish the episode. Let's split in half. Get ye old carpet siege going. I did not notice that. Ah, that, that was these rebels that just got wiped. And in 49 days... Ah, oh, Korean Down Under is just getting carpet siege. Why did I declare that war? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So if I attack Lakrakia as well, that would be some more war I'm not really ready for. And we're going to make Wadjak, the uh, the war goal. Of course, I don't have a diplomat there, so I can't even do that. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to have another diplomat back real soon. There we go, right now. So let's get our claim, 27. Now with two diplomats to work with, it'll be a little easier doing these things. Doing everything, pretty much. Uh, and this is where I'm going to split the boys up. Finish off the Daviet coastline. And then this 20,000 has got to come south. And we got to start help dealing with these rebels. The rebels are out of control. There's some rebels in this house. Uh, doo -doo. Where are you going with this 33? What, what are you up to? What are you up to? I don't I don't like the looks of that white elephant. I do not like the looks of that. Okay, we jump to our sidebar. We make sure we're not... Uh, people are, are going to be gainfully employed. I'm going to attack Larakia right now. Malangna is automatically joined in. I want to make sure it's for Wajuk is my war goal. Just like that. What? Did I not just attack you? Okay, he was moving off. And then he stops for some reason. That wasn't a good idea to stop. <laughs> you probably should have kept walking on, buddy. I'm just going to toss it out there. but Whatever. And then we'll start piecing out the other wars. I'll, I'll go pick up the other army in New Zealand. And we'll start piecing out the Zealand too. Because the Maori tribes have finally, finally they have been quelled. And there's so many forts over here. It's going to ruin his economy. i got to delete those forts as soon as I get it. So we lose trade efficiency in my whole empire? 25%? I don't like that. No, let's spend some Dipple. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. No no, thank you to that. It's 12,000 wipe. Let's get over here under this 8,000. And then after that, I'll split the armies in half. Perfect halves. Perfectly balanced, like all things should be. Head. I don't think the Wu or the Yu. Wu is 87. No, they're a little ways. Great Horde. Yeah, it's going to be countries countries in the West here. I'll need my armies near the front line here. There we go. So the, their, their advancement into the Southlands ended. They got the couple of sieges won, and they're like, okay, we got enough, guys. We got enough. Let's get out of here. So I will be taking a naval battle. Oof. Oof. That was his, uh, his 30,000 coming at... Attacking me in the hills for the for the defensive bonus. Not bad. And I didn't notice it. I did have a general there, at least. But I didn't notice the battle occurring. I could have reinforced and definitely have won that. But, hey, whatever. Whatever. So, we got claim on you. We got claim everywhere else. Let's start... Yeah, we got we to gotta piece out these buys here. So, I, whatever your name is. You, sir. Yeah. You peace out. Now I have you for the day, so I want to delete that castle. I don't want to bankrupt my subject nation over there. He's, there's too many forts. You can't afford it, man. You can't afford it. All right, so the one day passes. We can jump into the next ally of his. We can take everything, maximize the money. And a same deal. He doesn't need so many forts. He does not need to go bankrupt just to, just to occupy New Zealand. Oh, he won't let me delete his other forts. That was a mistake. I, I should have deleted a couple of those for him. I will definitely delete this fort as well. It's kind of funny how they have the... Um, how the, the Maori people are so militarized. Which, historically, when the... Uh, I guess it was the British arrived, they were extremely militarized. And they were fighting the heck out of each other. They, the, um, if you want some interesting history, learn about the Musket Wars. It, it occurred after the British arrived. And they armed... Well, they were trading with the locals. I don't remember what they were buying from them but they were they were just like hey we got boxes of muskets and they sold they were selling to their allies these muskets and it's and it, it started a whole series of wars you know and they I, who knows what their intent it's just probably trade it's like everywhere they go they conquest or trade and and the conquest usually facilitates the trade if you actually look into it so it's it's all about the ducats it's all about the benjamins 
any era, any time, it's it, not much changes. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Let's get around to this fort. The fort will probably fall before I even get there, but that is fine. We will liberate it. So they're on. They're joined up. We will let the repair tick happen. Boom. And we're going to sail. Where? Is there anywhere unoccupied? I guess in Tan Tanzania. Ah, over here. Okay, right next to a fort. Beautiful. So we may be able to save that fort. With some luck. With some luck, we will save that fort. Hey, and uh, Korean Australia is doing his own colonizing. He is filling up the island for me. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so we got a fortification expert. Where is this? Here? It's a farmland. Sure, whatever. We'll take we'll take some extra fort. I don't I don't think I'm gonna get attacked in this farmlands up here. I don't even know why I still have that fort, but that's fine. Let's get down to the rubble scum. How are we looking over here? You're running around to that fort. Boom. Let's get up here, deal with that rubble. And these guys can start sieging back one at a time, these provinces. And they will sit on that coastline. Oh, I don't like that white elephant navy. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. Let's go sit up here. Ruin their trade. Ruin their trade and ruin their day. Boom, a nice naval wipe. Come up here, ruin their, ruin their trade and ruin their day some more. So this army is repairing. How are we? We are coming up onto episode end. Who's calling me for peace? What is this call for peace? What is this? What is this? Who wants peace? It's Tang Gu. Eh? Well, let's give him peace. So we were thinking Tang Gu. We would just take everything. I didn't realize how big that coalition is. Like Delhi and Gujarat? That's a lot of countries. That is a lot of countries. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do? Doo -doo -doo. Finish them off. Jump into Lower Burma. We can't concentrate anything here. That's just madness. Madness. All right, well, we'll core it all up. Beautiful. And we're at 108. No! No, I did not mean to go over 100%. That's a mistake. I don't like those, I don't like those negative multipliers you get sitting over 100%. I really don't. They are a, uh, they are a sad day. They make for a sad panda. Get both fort siege down. Those rebels are being dealt with. They're coming north. Okay, so we get we lose support for printing press. No, no, no. I want support for the printing press. It's Bijou and Palma. Where is Bijou and Palma? I'm just kind of curious here. Bijou. What? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Find. Oh, I can't because that's up. Because this stupid thing's up. I, it won't let me find Bijou. Oh, here's Bijou. Bijou, okay, I can't get, luckily they're right in front of me, though that's not where it brought me. It brought me to Zhangban, not Bijou or Pama. So, it would finish Bijou. It would finish Bijou, that's not bad. And they get instability, who cares? It finishes it in one of the two. I, I'm okay with that. We're fine with that. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, you have fallen. I have a claim on Yolongu. I saw you might as well run straight on up. Uh, is anyone else calling for peace? Daviet is calling for peace now. Okay, so White Elephant, I can't take anything from you because you are not co belligerent. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Hmm. Let's let that capital fall. They'll give me a bunch more money. If I if I just hold out and, and, and exercise patience and restraint, they will give me a bunch more ducats. Hmm. Alright, 49% on their capital. Smack them off there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Deal with your separatists. Don't don't make me do everything here. Come on, you can do this. That 42%, we may actually be saving that 42%. It feels good. And then what tie to you? We can finish you off. And it's the same deal. We want to make sure before I give it away. We destroy that castle. We don't want to bankrupt our subject nation. The New Zealand is the most militarized, fortified nation. It's like the North Korea of, of, of the Zealands is what New Zealand is. It is so militarized. It is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so we're, we're still way down on taking our techs. We're okay with that. Boom, boom, boom. There's the White Elephant's capital. That's going to be a big change right there. Boom. That gives us up to the, the, the maximum uh, ducats he'll give us. Cancel subjects. 
Oh, those guys are your subject? Oh, whatever. I don't care. That's fine. I can't even get to them anyways. Yeah, I, I don't care. He can remain allies with those countries. We'll separate that up. I'm going to attack them a a separately anyways, and it'll allow me to extract from the bank of the White Elephant. I'm kind of stuck with my aggressive expansion. I don't want every single one of these countries in a coalition against me. Maybe at the very, very end, but I don't want to just do coalition hopping for the, for the rest of the campaign. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun. I know I could be pushing this a lot harder. I really could. In case you haven't noticed, I pulled back a little bit here. But I mean, whatever. We're number one, two to one. Let's keep going. Let's keep expanding. Uh, I've totally forgot about my army up here. Got so much going. On. What I do want to do is make sure I get that one more spot cleared out, and I want to get by Heidi here while they're on this island, so I can just run right by them right now. So I'll make sure I get all the way down to um, I don't know wherever down here. That's got four development. All right, that seems like a fine place. That gets me by them, and I'm pretty sure I'll have the colonial range to go from this location to there. That, that shouldn't be an issue. What I do want to do is... What? It hasn't switched over Korean, so we'll recall him and we'll resend him. That, that will work this time. It will become Korean as soon as he arrives. And after his arrival, I'm going to remove him and he's going to Alaska. We're going on an adventure. So, young Wu, we attack you because I don't have enough wars going. Boop -ba -doom. We are black flagged. Let's get you on home. Do -do 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 yourself. There you go. Maja puts attacking. Hey, Amber, I was attacking. They are listening to me. It feels good. Feels good. I'm a proud, proud papa here. Proud papa for sure. Bengal, we're gonna need some more claims on you, my friend. Um, Whatever is like a high dev neighboring province of mine would make the most sense. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking to split them in half here. But these aren't particularly high dev. That's six. Okay, there you go. So Parau, Kokajo, Daka. That that that's most likely gonna be my line. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna make some more claims on Bengal. We know war with Bengal is coming, so we might as well prepare for that. Come south this way. They may get black. Yeah, they already are black flag. So they'll unblack flag as they arrive here, and then they'll come down and reoccupy that territory. Boom. More rebel scum. You gotta figure Yar Khan and these other countries. Oh, they already did. Yar Khan's already off truce with me. So it's Unzbik and Nij. Okay, but you're still on. So I definitely do need to fire on Yar Khan. I don't even want the coalition to have the option to, to start going. Oh, Junpur, look how small Junpur is. Junpur is usually a large country in Central Asia. They have gotten eight up, and Uzbek's a nothing bird. Wow, I don't have a claim on you. This is just a trade conflict. Okay, we need to rectify that because I want to take land from you. So we're going to get a claim going right away on you. Um, and I have a claim on Uzbek. No, no claims on Uzbek or Yarkhan. That was a slight mistake, no doubt about it. Boom, those rebels are gone. Come south of them. We'll pick up maybe this army. Yeah, let's pick up this army here in Jambi. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, we're, we're, we're back. We're back in Australia. We're doing okay. We're back. The armies have arrived. And they've, 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 they're basically, they're hiding on Tanzania. They're like, this is where we will make our final straw. We will fall back no longer. So that's Viet. How many of these actually cored up? I want these two to core up. So I'm at 99. Let's let them finish. What? So this is occupied or something. This this one is that this? No, that's not that territory. Where is this? Where is this? Show me where this is. Okay, I see, I see. Well, that'll finish in just a moment. How? What percentage are we looking at here? That's another five point six. That's something. That's significant. That is definitely significant. This army is trapped. Maybe I can run. Hey, look at that. Somehow I still have access through the white elephant. Like, dude, I, you are whatever. Allow me access. I appreciate it. So what I want to make sure I do here is I grab all of their tribal lands. And I'll leave them intact for a round. That's okay. I'll come back and attack them again. I just got to get all the tribal land from them. Take all the Ducats. And off he goes. And that will all automatically go to Korean Down Under in just a moment. Or these two will go to Korean Down Under. 
or or one <laughs> or just one i don't understand that whatever it'll work okay it'll work so that just left melang that just deleted one of those two and left melang there i think that's what just happened okay this is okay i'm gonna be able to make a claim on my melang now even if korean down under doesn't make one so that's okay this colony is gonna be here for a while that that's a that's a whatever it's not exactly how I wanted that to happen, but that's that's more of a whatever than a whoopsie daisy. Let's jump out, and I don't think we're gonna let's we'll finish off Daviet here. That will be our end episode. I got too many wars. I just popped off some more, and that was uh, basically the episode. This is gonna move on to Australia after that, and we're gonna clean up some more in here in Yarkand and. Folks, it's going to be some big jump cuts coming after that as we just finish up. I'm not I'm not pushing all the way through India. We're going to beat up Russia, of course. There's more to happen, but I, I, I'm going to be flying into these achievements after that. Boom, boom, boom. Himji Castle. What do you get me? You get me uh, cheaper spy construction? That's not bad. I like cheaper spy construction. Ooh, that's way better. War, war, war taxes costs and general costs, plus increased prestige. Let's go with that one. Boom. I, like, I think that's 2,500 Ducats well spent. And as soon as our Diplo is home, Das Viet, we have something to talk about. So 55. So I can get 44% roughly. 44 for me, my friend. Um, do, 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 would be a little too much. A little too much to take the whole coastline. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that brings me over. Sorry, what did I say? No, it's only 44%. So we'll do our best to get as close as possible. No, okay, it looks like that's what we're doing. Okay, 40%. That's fine. The cash, the ducats. You're going to hold on to your cores another day. We're fine with this. And we peace on out. We're under that magic 100 number. Thank you for making it to the end. The end is in sight. We're going to have Colonial Alaska coming. Uh, Colonial Australia is basically done. Next episode, we'll be cleaning that up. And we're going to be pushing forward. Thank you for making it to the end. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Hope your campaign has been as successful as mine. Till next time, have a great day. Goodbye.